Hello and welcome to Landry Anka on YouTube, helping you to break through fears to live an awesome life. I want to talk about something that we say all the time that I want you to hopefully change your thinking on this. You know, there's a song out there, it's called, uh, what is it, I'm Only Human. You know, we say that ter thing, term all the time. Well, I'm only human, or you're only human. You're just a human. Isn't that a downgrade? It's a downgrade. Meaning, you're not, you know, perfect. You're going to make mistakes. You do stupid stuff. And that's exactly where we peg ourselves. We put ourselves in this position of only being human. We grow up being told we're only human. You're just a human being. Go easy on yourself. Yes, we are tough on ourselves because we don't like being human and frail and making mistakes and doing stupid stuff. We don't like it. But yet, we're being told we're only human when actually, wouldn't it be great if we grew up and we were told when we made a mistake, you're an unlimited light being. Just remember that when you make a mistake. Ah, you're an unlimited light being. Wouldn't that be awesome if we grew up all being told that? So when we make a mistake, we don't attach ourselves to the fact that we're limited, frail, you know, dense beings that make mistakes. In fact, instead, we were reinforced to be, believe that, oh yeah, wait a minute. I did do that, but I, that isn't who I am. I'm an unlimited light being. Wouldn't that be awesome? So I'm here to tell you, all these things you're hanging on to that you believe you are, I'm human. I'm human. I'm going to have these feelings. I'm going to have all this stuff. Yeah, you, you do. You do. That was the challenge. But that is not who you are. You're an unlimited light being. So you're sitting there going, yeah, so great. That's not how I'm feeling right now. That's because we have been told that our entire lives, that we are dense human beings, and everything that we've been taught and trained around, including our television, our material world, reinforces that. So much so that that's all we, most of us, identify with, is being human. Getting the stuff to make us happy getting the relationship to make us happy, getting the right job to make us happy. Yes, you should live a life of passion and joy. But that's going to come from your internal light that you are that's going to connect to something really huge that is going to bring in everything that you need, that you desire, and create a reality for, reality for you, a reality for you here on earth because you're connecting to what you really are, the light being. So most of our, us are connecting to the density. So we're allowing the exterior world to control us. We're hanging on to dense things, feelings, fears, doubts, because if you were connected to your real self, your real true unlimited self, you would have faith in everything, no matter what the material world appeared to be. See, that's the difference. When people are manifesting, they could be in the worst possible situation and they're all walking around all happy. Yay! What are you so happy about, human? Well, they're connected to their light self, their light being. Their lightness, their light is connected to the one. And so they're vibrating on a high frequency and they're joyful. They're feeling that. They're already feeling that they're abundant. They have these things. So no matter what they're seeing here, they know that that is temporary and they don't allow it to control their feelings because they know what's possible. And they just know, well, because I'm wealthy and I own a house, and a beautiful car and all these things and I am healthy and now it's just I'm being patient and waiting for it to show up 
and they already have it. They know they already have it. They're connecting to their light being. That's what meditation does. What it does is it clears out the thinking, the connecting, the torturing yourself, the anger, the fear, the doubts. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question right now. Do you have faith? Yes or no? I'll bet you most of you said yes. And those of you who said yes, are you doubting? Do you have fear? Do you, are you uh, struggling in your life? If the answer is yes, then let's cancel out the first question. You don't have faith. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I believe in God. That's like saying you don't believe in God. Oh, no, I know you believe. I know you believe in the one source, the one beautiful being. I know that. But do you have faith? Because if you did, you would be so joyful right now because even if the fear and all the stuff shows up, you would give it no attention. Because you know that's the human side of you. The humanness that believes those things that is dense. But you know that's not you, so you disregard it. And you are connected to your light being self that is the one. And you know that all the rest fades away. This body will disintegrate. Everything around us will disintegrate at some point. But you, you're forever. Isn't that awesome? You are a light being. You are limitless and you're inhabiting this body. If you are hanging on to being human, that means you have fear. That means you have doubts. That means that you're connected to this material world and you're believing what you've been told growing up that we are just human beings. Only human. And you're not. You're not only human. You came into this reality, this time period on this planet as a human, as a species, but that's not who you are. When you start to recognize, I am an unlimited light being, instead of excusing yourself for being human. Now, I'm not telling you to, like, you have to be this perfect person because we are human beings and with that comes the, and I'm going to say, burden of density to be overcome. All right, so the lightness that you are, the light being that you are, wields all the power. The human part of you does not. And we are going into, we're not going into, we're in it. It's already happened. The, the new earth is happening already. It's already splitting. We are allowed by choice to connect to whichever world we want. And if you connect to what you are, your world will start to change around you and become unbelievably awesome and light. The shift is really happening. I just felt that we just went through something major. I physically felt it. You may be feeling changes. I'm going to do this. That's going to be the next video. I'm going to talk about that shift and how it's affecting you. So, quit saying you're only human, because you're not. You're a human in this life, short period of time, in this body, which is a blink of an eye, but you are a unlimited light being. I'm unlimited light being. Say it, say it all day in your head. I'm an unlimited light being. What do I want to do today? What does an unlimited light being do? You decide. Unlimited light being. Remember, unlimited. Can you focus on that? Stop, you know, saying, oh, I'm stupid, I'm this and that, I'm human. No, you are just inhabiting that body. Light overcomes darkness all the time. Can you bring darkness into a room of light? It's impossible, right? It's impossible. 
You can bring light into a room of dark and change it to a light room, but you can't bring darkness into a light room. It just doesn't work. So, you're not the darkness, you're not the density, you're not the eons of, of programming that is infused into this body. That's what you're carrying around and your, your spirit is infused in that. But you, the real true you, is the light body that has no limits, that can transform every cell in your body, including healing yourself. Because you're in charge. You're infiltrating a dense body that is alive because you're in it. You inhabit it. You're the limitless light being. So if you're not feeling well, know that that light energy is all you are and let it expand and grow. If you're having negative thoughts, let that lightness open up that you are and let it push that darkness out. You are limitless. You're not just only human. When you look in the mirror, envision beautiful, sparkling light in whatever color you love. Is it gold? Is it light blue? Is it white? Envision it. Envision it yourself glowing. And focus on that. That light expanding and expanding. Mine expands over the planet every day. Every day I do this. I send light and love and healing and abundance through the planet. I envision light encircling this planet. And everybody just feeling that energy. And I hope you do that too. Not just for yourself, but for this planet. Because when everybody else's light elevates, their vibration elevates, yours does too. It affects all of us. And your life will change for the better. And everybody else's will. Would it be awesome to live in a world without pain and suffering? It's possible. Everything's possible. And you are changing that reality right now through letting go being human and becoming the light being that you are, knowing that that's always what you were. You are abundant. You are perfect. You are limitless. Namaste.